that you will not regret. Oh my god. That fox just got nailed. Live prey feeder unlocked. <laughs> wow! Moira's mo- Ah! What? <laughs> wow. These guys have been doing strength training with the, uh, compies, I see. It said, don't touch. I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, did you hear something? For those of you not aware, this is the castle of Daventry from King's Quest. It was probably just the gators entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, Berta. Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it, you have stumbled into a place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now since you are playing Space Quest. Uh-oh. That didn't work so well. Phenomenal. Oh, and look at this. I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really handy. Ah, oh my... <laughs> wow. What? What's happening? Oh, that's so creepy. I've... I've done it, and it looks like they know. Well, let's not hang about. Then please, after you. Oh, that's so creepy. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, that is... No! Uh... <laughs> this is so great. Oh god, that's not so great. Oh boy. Uh Achievement unlocked, legendary warrior. Rick the door technician? What? <laughs> Boss defeated. <laughs> Mission. You have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? Oh boy. By popular opinion, your channel has gifted you 100 tame duck billed platypus. Um. Execute Order 66. Oh, good God.
Wait, it's done? Oh. What the hell? Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. I know you. The only mistake was you showing your face. You committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's justice. You taste my well, sword! Well, another maggot. I'm not afraid of my Not impressed. Do not Thanks, guys. Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her, even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. I'm finally up and running. Everything wanted to update today. Windows updated recently. When I started up the computer after rebooting, I had to update the Elgato Wave software, which was an adventure, because that messed up all my audio settings. Even OBS wanted to update, but I declined and delayed that one until later on. I figure over the next couple days I can get that one updated. Uh, I had enough going on that I just didn't want to risk it, even though usually I don't hesitate. Uh, so we're going to play some City Skylines. We don't really have all that much time left to uh, play this game. We are going to be up on Cities 2 before you realize. So, CC are working, so there's that. Are you able to hear me okay? Um... Uh, is everything else okay? CC is working. Okay, so well, I'm, I'm going to assume since... Yeah, seems good. Okay, just verifying. Because uh, between Greenie's stream last night going haywire and mine starting out in such a state, I just wanted to be sure. Uh, where are we here? Where are we? Oh, nope. There we go. That's the one. Okay, now, you're going to have to, I, I know you and audio don't necessarily hear ear to ear, so to speak, but I know I don't normally keep cities at this volume level, so you're going to have to let me know if this is shockingly loud or anything, because my setup is a bit different than the last time I streamed this, I think and I don't know what the relative volume levels are going to be like. So we'll have to see how it looks, or sounds. We're just going to carry on with the game I had started off stream, just because we're a couple of updates in. Uh, updates being these upgrade things. Louder than me? Okay. Well, that I can actually fix. Is that too loud still, or is it maybe too soft? Okay, I think we had just gotten... Yeah, so we achieved Tiny Town. We're working on Boom Town. I got softer with it, that's weird. <clears throat> Okay, tell you what. I was trying to adjust it using my Elgato Wave stuff. I'm just going to drop the main volume. That way, it is confirmed only the game. Hey, Winters! Oh, yeah, that's because everything is going haywire. Let me update that. Thank you, Winters. I knew I was forgetting something. I was so busy updating everything. Uh, 
There, that should be better. Oh, um, also tags. Yeah, probably not open world assassinate. Hotels and retreats, and... Ah, uh, yes. Also worth noting, I put it in the tags. I don't believe I've got crowd control working. Uh, we're going to forgo that for the time being. I'm going to see if I can get crowd control 2 to work with City Skylines. So we'll have to see that, but we're just going to do without for today because I honestly just didn't have time to poke at that. Yes, how does it sound, Winters? How is the game audio level? And what have we got going on here? We have a little tiny bit, bit of demand for everything. Looks like more industrial than anything else. So I think... Oh, it's weird. Why do I not have that? Okay, we're gonna do that. Did do that. And we're gonna do that. Audio sounding good to me. You're louder than the game, and the game volume is good. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you, Mio. How's it going? It's good to see you. What's going on, Wiggles? Hearing the music almost at your sound level. Okay. I'm not going to adjust the main volume anymore, but I can independently adjust the music level. So let's drop that to maybe 75. How's that? Hey, Unstaro, what's going on? It's good to see you. Uh, thank you, Wiggles. Excellent. Okay. I usually struggle a little bit with cities because, for some reason, the audio in it always just absolutely blasts on stream. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Yeah. I'm relieved I was able to get everything up and running as quickly as I did. I was a little concerned. <clears throat> everything seemed to want to explode when I got started. Why is everybody just doing straight up U-turns back onto the highway system? That's weird. Just saw that Broken Roads game you posted? Yeah, I was caught by surprise. That trailer is actually like 10 months old. I don't remember hearing anything about it, but it popped up yesterday because I've been poking around the Keymailer site and was digging up information on the Starfield release. And that one came to my attention and I thought, you know what, that actually sounds really cool. It absolutely did, Winters. It really did. There's always a game or two out there that has volume control issues. No roundabout? <laughs> I like roundabouts. I just am not a firm believer in the roundabout superiority complex that everybody's got. People treat roundabouts as if they're the magical cure-all for all traffic woes, and they really are not. They can be very effective in certain circumstances if you know when to use them. But uh, a lot of the time you throw in a roundabout, it might help a little bit in some ways, but you're not always guaranteed to fix everything. So many great games that can slip under the radar because there's so many games. Yeah. Yeah, there are. Uh, okay. You can create industry areas. Yeah, thank you. Let me see how my road network options are looking here. Large roads. Okay, I still can't do highways. 
So what are we working towards? It may, looks like we've already made a little more progress, but we need population 2,400. Our demand for everything is starting to increase a little bit, so I think what we're going to do... I don't love the idea of losing those rocks, but we might have to. I want to keep the rocks because I think that'd make a nice park area. I guess. I guess I could go with that. That's a little weird, a little non-standard, but it works-ish. somehow survives. <laughs> I've got my eye on broken roads, of course, because it's set in Australia. I still maintain that post-apocalyptic Australia just looks like Australia. <laughs> okay, we'll keep it this way. We'll leave this. This will become a massive park later once we're capable of building those. Actually... Am I capable of building those? I can do the small park areas. Pedestrian area plazas. Oh, that's where the hotels are. Rental cabin. A small rental cabin with all the amenities. This hotel is pricey, but it's perfect for a weekend getaway in the wilderness. It has no power. I hope this isn't a problem. Chirper Hotels, that's the chain. So we actually do get to do a little bit of the hotels content. I didn't realize it opened up so early. Okay, but we actually wanted a whole bunch of residential, so I'm going to pop this in. And here. This cabin is not exactly, you know, out of, off the beaten path. It's just right across the street from some regular folk. But that's okay. Give them a little bit of commercial down here.
Because everybody in a remote cabin needs convenient access to shopping, right? Yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea, Winter. So I want it to be a nice natural park down the road. I can't actually do a proper park yet. But I can do the best I can. I might actually not put residential in right here. And just leave that so that I can do more cabins and hotels and maybe some other stuff in there that's themed for it. We'll see how it goes. And now what I am going to do is I'm going to fill in a little bit more of this side out here. Where I don't necessarily want to build out the road network just yet. But I can still have some development going on. How I... Why do I have all these gaps? That's really weird. Well, that one, I guess, is... I left it for the road, but okay. Shouldn't need that one. Okay, and so we got that. Also put in some more commercial as a buffer over here, and I think I am going to expand, or not, since I'm now in the negative on money, uh, we're going to leave industrial alone. Yeah, I hope Cities 2 is a lot more light touch on the tutorial message thing. I hate how this one is absolutely insistent every few seconds that it needs to tell you about all the things. The first time, it can be extremely helpful. I could even see repeating it a couple of times just to make sure you get it, but... This is a bit much. Come on down to Mom and Pops, get your tea and drink it too. Exactly. All right, we have money again. Stop telling me to look at the newly unlocked surface. I'm well aware. Exactly, Winters. Actually, I wonder if maybe I'm just missing an obvious option here. Where's gameplay? I can probably just turn that off. Well, it's been almost 10 seconds and we haven't had another pop-up, so I think that was probably the issue. That's one thing I'm really looking forward to in Cities 2 as well, is that you don't have to build all those water and power connections manually. All of the roads except for highways 
have those connections built in, which is going to be seriously nice. So it means if you've got far-flung areas that are not directly connected to your smaller road network, you do have to lay in the works for it. But if you're building out city blocks like this stuff, you would never have to worry about it. Don't jinx it, I know. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. I had a good couple of days off. I managed to mostly relax while still actually managing to be productive, so I'm pretty impressed with myself. My ongoing behind-the-scenes analytics and games database thing that I'm working on is uh, really taking shape, and some parts of it are like beating my head against a brick wall, but I'm actually making really solid, measurable progress, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, so now it looks like, yeah, residential demand is starting to pick up just a touch. Oh, speaking of power connections. I'm gonna have to run this through our nice little park area here, but I think they'll appreciate it. And we can, of course, always get rid of that once the... Uh, power situation grows enough to encompass the envelope. Every job, if you will, has that wall beating part. Getting past that is where we soar. Yes. I've already hit my first instance of that. This is a bit of a coding job where I, I've got a spare laptop set up to run Ubuntu Linux with PHP and Apache and MySQL and all that for the database. And it requires a lot of scripting to get the stuff I want done and a lot of learning databases because I've never worked with databases before. So I've been working with ChatGPT to learn all of this stuff. And I had a good couple of months where it was like pulling teeth, but I eventually have gotten to the point where I'm getting pretty good at communicating with it and making everything work the way I need it to. Linux is pretty good. I, I like having a little system there where I can just, you know, log in through PowerShell and do the stuff I want to do. It's really nice. Oh, nice. So this just recently updated. I'm sure that's not going to cause us any grief. Um, where's our junctions? Here we go. Just built out a bunch of roads, so we need to go through and make sure all the intersections are set up correctly. like my intersections, especially early on in a game, to be very yield-based instead of very dependent on um, on uh, traffic lights and whatnot. Mm, no, actually. This is the major one, even though this doesn't actually come down here yet. I'm still going to treat it that way. There we go.
You hate winter, ironically. Wow, winters. It's nine degrees Celsius. That's a little bit on the cool side. Okay, oh. Are we not? Oh, uh, crap, okay. We're just flat out not producing enough power. I agree, Ansara. Watch to do to made their intersections a three plus lane deal. Each side lane was a dedicated turn so traffic would move in over time. And they moved the lane start to an earlier position. Yeah, I, I've done that kind of thing before too. It's just the city right now is so small that I'm not too concerned about that. But that's actually similar to why I've got this uh, main artery road here as a three-laner. I do like to go in and adjust the lanes as well so that, you know, if I wanted this to be a dedicated turning lane, I could shut that off, for example, and then everybody would have to turn right. But traffic just does not require that right now. I can always make that happen later. Love Winter, you can always put more clothes on. You can only take so much off before the law smacks you. Exactly. How's our power situation? Okay, that didn't help as much as I was maybe hoping it might. Oh, but our population's getting there. 2,201. Look at that. We're getting very close to dinging Boomtown. Oh. Now, what's the water problem? Oh, shoot. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. I remember. I don't actually have one of these things. Oh, actually. Ah, oh, I can. Okay, I can buy more land. I think we're going to buy this one. Just so that I get access to this convenient river. Because the water flows this direction. And that's my outflow. So we want our in to be over here so let's I still have a little bit of money let's drag a utility road out probably right here uh, actually I'm going to take advantage of one of the new features that we haven't really had a chance to play with much This little toggle here toggles zoning on roads. So now if I take this very same road and I upgrade this, we have the road, but the zoning goes away, which is really neat. I like that a lot. And now I'm just gonna put this back on again so I don't forget about it. Now, this doesn't actually require a road connection, but I like it just for the authenticity. And also, I can run the pipe under the road as they usually like to do and just connect it that way. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Really good to see you. 
Still remember when I forgot to pay attention to the water flow and placed water collection and sewage in the wrong order. Yes, that'll do you some damage. <laughs> now, I'm a little concerned. How much power does this require? Two hundred forty kilowatts. Hopefully, we're okay. Ooh, we're not okay. No, we're not okay. And I can't afford more. <laughs> I have to wait till I get a little bit more cash. What do I need for one more wind power? 6k. Use a river power box? I don't think we've got one of those. This is a brand new city. I don't have a lot of the fancy stuff yet. Still doesn't beat the time I forgot about City Skylines water physics when I deleted a dam. Mm, yep. You know what? The lack of power is impacting my budget. Let's just take another loan. I'm going to pop in a coal power plant again. There we go. That should leave us in very good hands. <laughs> nice, Ansara. There we go. Power's all sorted out. Oh. Our water is not, because I completely forgot that while I took care of the water connection very nicely, it does still need some manner of power connection, so let's take care of that too. There we go. And this means, now that I've got this, I can continue to extend this out into here as well, so that'll be really nice. You were looking at wind and budget, and said, budget said no. Yeah, that's right. Two, three, four, nine. Look at that, we are so close. Now, it's looking like we're wanting more in the way of commercial. So I'm going to take our larger road. That's actually, no, not, uh, that's our four lane roads. That's the one. Let's drag this down a couple of stops. Ooh, or not. One stop will be fine. Is that the right road? Oh, no wonder it's so freaking expensive. That's not the right road. That was an eight lane. I don't need that much. Okay.
Okay, so we got that. Um, they're asking for commercial, so let's give it to them. speed this up a little bit too and boom I think we just hit it and that opens up another area we can get we can get an airport this gives us our first major influx of transport services which I don't think we need yet but still very nice we can do ore industry specialization Lots of new policies, and... Oh, did we just open up highways? I think, yeah, we did. Okay. So we can do a little more work in our road network up here. I've kind of simulated highways by using a three-lane street. Now we can upgrade those to, or upgrade those to proper actual highways. In theory... Oh, I guess I don't need this anymore. Oh, shoot. Okay, I guess I don't actually need that anymore either. Oh, I can't do the sound barrier once, though. There we go. Highways, bus routes, and larger roundabouts. But did they give you money for the wind? Yes, they did. I've got over 37,000. We're still looking for more commercial, but we just zoned all this stuff in, and it has not developed fully yet. Things are still popping, so we're going to leave that for the moment. It does look like our industrial park up here is kind of in need of workers, so yeah, okay. Our residential demand is going to continue to upgrade. Now, one thing I've not really done yet, I haven't done anything in the way of parks aside from leaving space for the one rental cabin thing. Budget Hotel. Town Hostel. The Town Hostel offers low-cost low accommodation in dormitories with shared kitchens and bathrooms. Popular among backpackers, this will do well anywhere in the city. Oh yes, we've got police and fire. And education. We have a firehouse there. We have a med clinic up there. And we've got a police station over there. All nice and central. Now, how is our little, uh-oh, Big Bite Restaurant? Oh no, a fire. Luckily, it's only a small one. The neighborhood does not feel as safe as before due to a rise in crime. Crime rate's only 7%, so I don't think this is a huge issue. I 
I'm sure they can get a squad car down there at some point. Oh, but actually, you know what? Let's check our education here. Okay, elementary availability is still good. High school, not so good. I don't really have space in there to build a high school. That's a huge high school. Enjoy your lurk, Aranar. Fine, quaint town with a good community, hopefully. I'm thinking it's also getting to be time that we start looking at upgrading a few of these major roads. Maybe this one in particular, because that'll help the police get out to this area. And maybe these here, so let's see. Also makes it a little easier to see because now we've actually got street lights in parts of the city. Okay, we've run out of demand for commercial. We still have a little bit of demand for residential and for industrial. What is our next milestone? We've done Boomtown now. Busy Town is next. Oh, and that's what gets us the ability to do the noise blocking highways as well as decorative roads. I always love that one. That's going to be good. Okay, um, oh, I took a loan, didn't I? We can pay that off. Well, we are still flush with cash. And we're making a hefty profit. Look at some of this data here. How's our garbage? Landfill usage, 13%. We have no incineration. Can we do incineration? We can do recycling. That would be better. Okay, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna reroute that power line so it's less in the way. I'm gonna put a recycling plant in there. And we're probably going to leave it at that, because that ate a lot of my remaining budget. We're going to have to make do with elementary school for the time being. Recycling is more important. Recycling 
waste, not brains. Okay, um, we're still making a pretty tidy profit, which is nice. I really do need to do at least a little bit of park stuff. Let's put a small playground. Where's our school? That's our school. So we'll put a park in there. Is that not zoned otherwise? It is. Why is it not developing? That's really weird. Actually, let's look at plazas. We're going to do a plaza with trees. Maybe right in here. When do you get your big park? Uh, we have to unlock that, I think. Oh, actually, I... Mm. No, okay. No, I can't do it yet. Create a park area. Wait a minute. Can I do is that just an unlock that I have to do? Pedestrian area. Park area. Okay. Maybe I can just unlock it by painting a zone. I don't have enough money, to, but I can do it. So we can start working on that gradually over time. And I should have the money for the main gate actually very shortly. Like, right now. I'm not going to do it right now, but we can do it. I think instead we're going to start building out more residential. Uh, maybe we'll skip using the uh, dirt roads for now. <sighs> okay, we want the straight road tool, not the upgrade. Let's go out maybe 48. Roads are more expensive than I tend to think of them as being. That's all we can do for now. But we can still draw in some of the... Uh... Actually, no. We're just gonna... We're just gonna leave that. Because I'm gonna have to put water connections in, and that's gonna cost money too. So let's wait until I've got another few thousand. I'm gonna speed things up a little.
Given how eternally messed up the roads in Montreal are, I believe it when a game says they're expensive. At least they better be. <laughs> About your house. Okay, now let's get some water in here. Nope, nope. I could better stick with the pattern here and do the road too. So we can do residential in this little bit here. Now it makes sense when I see the town build a road and not use it for three years. Well, you need the road so that you can get the stuff you want to, you know, uh, to use to build the thing before you can get the stuff over there to build the thing. So you do need the road in advance. Why the layout with small gaps inside the areas? Uh, the small gaps are for when I eventually decide to continue the road onwards. That way I don't have to tear stuff down. Just kind of trying to think ahead a little bit. Uh, we're starting to get a little more demand for industrial, too. How's our population doing? We are slowly crawling our way towards the next milestone. Subway stop in the center of a residential area? Ah, no. I'll tear down houses for that if I need to. I don't tend to do subway stops in the middle of residential areas, though. I'm more inclined to use buses in the residential areas to bring them to a major artery where I've got the subway connection that lets them go wherever they want. Three-minute warning. Two-and-a-half-minute warning, actually, guys. We're going to have a break shortly. these roads upgraded. How's our traffic flow looking? Where's our traffic flow? There we go. Okay, so we've got some very busy stuff going on here.
I always lived in small towns, so the bus lines and subways and even elevated subways were a mystery to me. I've always lived in small towns too, but I visit the bigger cities enough that I know how subways and whatnots work. I'm less familiar with buses, actually. I don't know that I've ever actually had to take a city bus. Maybe once or twice. Okay, this is getting surprisingly backed up. I think we need to adjust these lanes a little. So I'm gonna make that... Both lanes can go ahead. Oh, actually that doesn't make sense. Not without also upgrading that road. Because that's only a one-lane road. You know what might make sense, though? The holdup is people turning left, so I think what we want to do here is not make the people turning left share the lane with the people going straight. We'll make the people turning right do that instead. Oh, okay, guys. I need to uh, take a break. We've got ads starting in just a short moment. So that's at 50%. Actually, I'm just going to leave it paused. And I will be back in just a few minutes. If you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, I'm going to go make myself some more coffee, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber, you are glue. Got I give up. You win. Yes. Even him, only thirty nanites. Wow. How are you not dead? Excuse me. Okay. Did I miss something? Why is Serana murdering me? Um... Thanks guys, thanks, I appreciate that. Oh my god, what on earth? Wow! <laughs> I'm not finding that body. Personal guarantee here that you will not regret- Oh my god, that fox just got nailed. <laughs> this is so great. Oh god, that's not so great. Oh boy. Uh <laughs> Gotcha. 
Whoa! Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. So we're on the Barbary Coast, apparently. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? You will be safe there. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Your move. Oh my. What the hell was that? we doing time wise here oh no 66 <laughs> wow that dramatic music cue <laughs> that was <laughs> wow. Good job. Okay, I am back. Where is the game? Here we go. Thank you, Ansara. Thank you, Winters. Now let's take a look here. Yeah, that seems to be flowing much better now. Actually, I almost wonder... I might use an asymmetrical road here. It's going to take existing traffic a little bit of time to adjust to the new lane layout, but hopefully that'll work okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, Wiggles, but the intention is that you're not missing any of the live stuff while the ads are running. This looks also a little backed up, doesn't it? This might be another candidate for asymmetrical roading. CD and you do similar things? Excellent. I'm sorry it was so many ads, though. That's always a pain. And we 
do have this on a stop sign. I wonder if that's causing issues. Yeah, I think we might be running into a situation here where I've got to actually set up a traffic light. Yeah, okay, that's clearing out a hell of a lot better. Sometimes, sometimes the uh, traffic lights can actually be your friend. Sometimes. But they help me out when I need to. Yeah. I don't like using them very much, but I found that I was always doing myself a disservice when I just refused to ever use them at all. And if we're going to do that, I don't think I need to give three lanes to a single direction in this case. We're going to go back to four lanes with two in each direction. And I might do the same down here. Actually, this one seems to be okay. I'm going to leave that for now. I'll reserve the right to reverse that decision later. Um, So far, so good. <sighs> Hate it when I lose a sneeze. Now, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. I think we need to pay more attention to the industrial area. industrial roads yet, I wonder? We do. I'm going to upgrade the entire industrial park area.
better. This intersection is still concerning. <laughs> oh my god. This is all people going here and here and getting up to here. Oh, they've been around for a while. I don't remember what expansion introduced them. They're basically similar to regular roads or four-lane roads, but they look a little rougher. And I think the idea is they allow traffic to move a little bit faster, but they generate more noise, so you really don't want to use them in residential areas. Stuff is still clearing out reasonably well. It's not clearing out as well as I might like, though. I'm going to relocate this thing, because I have a thought. Let's put that in right there. bit before a whole lot of traffic is aware of that off-ramp and is able or on-ramp rather and is able to use the highway connection there but uh, that might take a little bit of pressure off of this road area here there we go now it's starting to see some use I'm not worried about symmetricality. There's no need for a ramp. Especially because that is a highway that just comes into the city. It's not going to help them leave. Okay, so we've got better flow. Still an awful lot of traffic coming up and down here. I think we need to upgrade that. Similar to earlier, I think we need to manage our lanes a little bit here. I don't know if there's enough traffic turning downwards, turning right off of this to justify not sharing a lane. So we'll have straight traffic going through there, and we're just going to give the left turners a dedicated lane.
Look at that. That's much better. It's also nighttime. We'll have to see how it goes when we get back to daytime again. But for now, I'm liking that quite a bit. Traffic goes kaput. I mean, you're not wrong. I can literally, I have actually literally spent an entire like four or five hour stream just finessing a single intersection while playing this game. That's a thing that has happened. Okay, so I think we've got most of our early traffic issues sorted out. That doesn't look like traffic, that looks like people are parking on the street. And that's residential, so I'm pretty okay with that. I don't think we need this anymore. Most of it anyway. Like we probably still need that part. We'll leave that for now. Okay, that is still very high volume, but that's volume, not a problem. Volume, high volume with good flow, that's, that's a good thing. Here. Yeah, I think we're gonna wanna, oh shoot. <laughs> Do I happen to have any death care? No. <laughs> I guess that's a thing that we could use at this point. We're going to pop in a cemetery near the big city park area. Wow, Wiggles. Well, the thing is, I like putting the parks near residential areas, or the uh, the graveyards near residential areas, because they do count as a park. And it will give you land value bonuses. Speaking of parks, I've got quite a little collection of cash at this point. Let's do some more parks. We're going to put in a larger park with trees. Probably over here, because I don't have any space for it elsewhere. We'll do a large playground. Right there. Continue on with our road expansion we were planning to do before. Only now, um, where are we? Oh, what happened there? That's not correct. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Whoops. There, that's better. Yep. Yeah, so we've got a cemetery by Holly City Park here. Which means maybe we'll call this... Yep. 
there. Drag that down there, and we were going to put in... Maybe we'll use our Paradox Plaza here. Oh, we've got a lot of residential demand all of a sudden. How did I not notice that creeping up on me? A fair amount of commercial as well. Can't forget our water, so let's drag this down. I guess that's better than Mort's Mortuary. I didn't stab him, but they can slab him. Wow. Okay, I'm starting to hear some dings, which means we've got land values rising and, yeah, upgrading the value of some of these lots. Now, we've also got all this here. I didn't do the water for that yet, so let's drag that right down. And then we'll establish some cross-connection. can feed some of this demand. Um, oh. We can also rethink that. I think we're going to put that there for the time being. So, are you excited for the Cities Skylines 2 release, Wiggles? You seem like you play this game a fair amount. I'm wondering what you think of the new reveals that we've seen lately. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am. It looks so good. Who does have you excited? Yeah, it's one of the biggest games of the year for me. I mean, we had um, we had Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which I adored. It was great. It's a contender for top game of the year for me. Tears of the Kingdom, also a top contender for, for uh, game of the year so far. Then we've got Baldur's Gate 3 coming out in late August, at the very end of August. We've got Starfield, and we've got Cities 2. And that's basically those three are the last remaining really big games for me. Now there is also, there's other stuff coming out, like Spider-Man 2 has me pretty excited, but I know I'm not going to get to that in 2023. I'll play that next year. Been a SimCity boy since the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, then SimCity 2000 was one of your favorites. Yeah, same, except that I never played it on a console. I played SimCity and its sequels on PC and Amiga and whatnot. But I've been a fan since the original SimCity.
I feel like this year is going to be viewed as historic in terms of game releases. Yeah, and I'm only talking about the ones that have me personally excited. There's so many other huge games like Diablo 4 and so many others that so many people are really excited about. And then Final Fantasy 16 as well. I mean, honestly, I'm excited about that one as well, but I haven't seen any of their release info for it yet. And I honestly kind of don't want to look at release info for that yet, just because I still have to finish the Pixel remasters, and I would like to finish 15 before I do 16, even though I know it's not actually a requirement. You're a D4 runner? You've played Diablo since the original? Ah, uh, see, I played the Diablo demo, and I hated it. I really hated it, but I never tried the full game, and I never looked at Diablo 2 or Diablo 3, so I don't know whether I would like Diablo 4 or not. I legit might actually like it. Looks like we've somehow managed to come into power problems again. At least I've got money this time. Even more coal time. Uh... <laughs> what? Water? Why is water availability suddenly completely tanked? What the heck? Did I cut a line? How did my water consumption just suddenly go through the frickin' roof? What the hell? I guess it must have. Okay, fine. You can have more water. There we go. I've not watched any of the Final Fantasy 16 stuff nor played the demo, but all the content creators who I've seen talk about their experience have called it descriptors ranging from amazing to mind-blowing. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm afraid to look at it, because I'm afraid if I do, I might have to shoehorn it into 2023 somehow. And neither my wallet nor my time are going to appreciate that. So I just kind of want to steer clear. But as I was saying about Diablo, uh, I, I really haven't looked at anything since the Diablo 1 demo. But I have played other games like... Um, Torchlight, Torchlight 1 and 2. I absolutely loved those. And those are very Diablo-style games. In fact, Torchlight was done by many of Diablo's original developers. So it's very possible that if I were ever to play Diablo 2 or 3 or 4, I might actually enjoy it quite a bit. I just haven't really been inclined to test that theory yet. The one down on D4 is that it's online live only. Yeah, that actually puts me off quite a lot, honestly, Wiggles. I really dislike that. You know me. I can tolerate a small amount of multiplayer gameplay every once in a while, but I'm very much a single player person at heart. So, being forced to play what is primarily a single-player game with other people running around with me, I don't like it. I'm not into it. 
that is some pretty serious backing up we've got going on. What is happening here? Oh, this is probably a lot of people just moving into that new neighborhood, actually. I think that'll probably sort itself out eventually. D4 has me curious how much people are enjoying it. Uh, everybody that I watch who plays it seems to really be enjoying it. I think it looks ugly as hell, but that's probably just a me thing. Starfield is starting to excite me too and making me wonder if my PC will be able to handle it. I'm concerned about that as well in Star Up. Baldur's Gate 3 I'm definitely going to play a lot since, well, I have it already, yes. The thing that got me interested in Diablo 4 was learning that the Butcher is in it and is responsible for a lot of player kills. Something like 1.5% of all player deaths so far. Damn. The amount of money I spent on prepping for Starfield really has me reassessing how many other games on my 2023 wishlist need to be day one purchases. Oh, hey, I love having my chat blown up, Wiggles. I tend to have a lot of lurkers, so it's actually kind of refreshing to have a chat that's really popping. Yeah, not to say I don't appreciate my lurkers. I always, always, always do. But every once in a while, it's nice to see people getting excited about the conversation, you know? Okay, I think we might need to expand our industry a little. I kind of like to preserve... Actually, I probably don't need to preserve this rock. Usually lurky, but it's calm at work, so I can chat more. Very nice. AMC, what's going on? Sorry, I didn't even notice you arrived there. He's killed me, it was an ugly battle, and I died pretty quick. Good to see you. How How's everybody doing this week? I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know it's Tuesday, not Monday, but I haven't seen you guys since Saturday, so I hope the rest of your weekends were great. industrial demand here. Not a huge amount, so I think I might just confine them to this little area. Actually, I should probably have used industrial road, but that's okay. We'll leave that for now. Uh, we need water. Because, of course, we do. Uh, 
Been a good week so far? Excellent. Weekend was pretty good. Week is all right so far. Got a raid tonight in WoW. Very nice. Got a mild sunburn at the lake and enjoyed my stepfather-in-law breaking his leg. Oh, no. I hope he's all right. Oh. Oh, this is one of those awkward ones. All right, you know what? I'm just going to bring it up there. Bounced back like rubber, man is a machine, very nice. I'm a little bit sore today because I had to do a lot of moving around of earth yesterday. Some landscaping stuff, ripping a tree out of the earth and redistributing the, uh, the built up soil around it to the rest of the yard. But all in all, it wasn't too bad. It's not something I do a whole lot of wiggles, but yeah. It felt good to be a little bit more active. Fill in a little. Actually, you know what? I think I'll do this whole industrial park area here. Really doesn't have any commercial interests. So let's pop a bit in. Oh, that's not commercial. No. a little bit in there. Actually, that's probably okay. Gotta weigh myself just to see if my yard needs more work. <laughs> fair. Very fair. I might do another plaza in here as well. We've got one there. Let's do a smaller one. Right there. Wow, the new plaza looks really sophisticated. Ah, uh, you'll get there, Wiggles. I'm struggling a bit with that stuff myself. Okay, we've made some changes. Let's see how this is affecting traffic flow. Are these guys... Oh, wow, okay, I was wondering if they were parked. They are definitely not parked. Again, it looks like it's flowing pretty up. All right. This looks a little backed up here. Yeah, with the number of trucks and whatnot, I almost wonder if maybe I should put more traffic lights in this area. So it's coordinated with the main road here. 
I think I might do that. Okay. That was a sketchy moment. Drop my phone on the tile screen side first. Oof. I don't need to add new phone to my budget this year. Yeah. That would not be fun. I would recommend avoiding that. That's kind of crawling a little bit, isn't it? I think I might have to adjust the priority here. looks better. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Now what's going on down here? Because that's also backing up pretty heftily. Thankfully, your phone case has a decent lip around the screen. Yep. I dropped my phone last year, some of you might remember, so I've got a pretty decent case on mine as well. I try, Wiggles, I try. Oh, trust me, I have drunk. I went through an entire coffee. But I did kind of forget about my second one, so thank you.
Ugh, this is looking good. And we're getting pretty close to dinging upwards again. Where are we now? Busy town? 4,300... 4,406 people. We need another roughly 400 people. Luckily, we've got massive demand for residential. So I think what we're going to do... Let's pop back down to our roads here. I'm going to extend this downwards to about there. Gonna eliminate this power because who needs water? What the heck? Thank you so much for coming in with the raid, Maroon. Welcome on in. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, tell me all about your stream. How was your stream? What were you playing today? I would love to hear all about it. The Uwu crew is here. That is awesome. Just one second here. There we go. Ah, oh, City Skylines. So, how did your build go? What are you working on? What kind of city are you focusing on? And what stage of your city are you in? This is a pretty new city, so we're still very early on in the playthrough. I would love to hear all about it. Folks, if you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I am a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games, but I also like a hefty dose of uh, simulation and strategy games, as well as some sandboxy games and retro RPGs, classic adventure games, that kind of thing. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to drop a follow. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Well, welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. It's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these uh, these parts. So welcome on in. Thank you so much. And thank you, Wiggles. We're working on our crop circle city, which has some interesting roundabouts, trying to fix the industrial area, traffic, etc. Yep, the eternal struggle of the city's player. I'm very familiar with it. I'm actually trying to follow proper road hierarchy as well. I always try. I'm usually pretty good about it, but every once in a while, you know, you're going to screw up something or other. Love those clips. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for sharing your community with us. Uh, that means a lot. So welcome on in, everybody. Sit back. I hope you enjoy the stream. 
So we are just working on getting ourselves up to, we just hit busy town a little bit ago, maybe an hour ago, or, oh no, we're working on busy town. We're almost at busy town. And then we'll be moving on to whatever the next one was. What was it? Big town. Not quite there yet. We got a little bit to go. We have a couple hundred people or so. Maybe 400. Because why not end my night the best way and scare off the raiders? Oh no, what have you done? Okay, folks. It looks like we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, and there is a reason they are terrible puns and dad jokes. Don't be expecting a good pun or dad joke. These are terrible puns and dad jokes. So uh, brace yourselves, and I apologize in advance for the psychic damage you are about to suffer. <sighs> Okay. Why do fairy tale creatures often get indigestion? They're always gobbling their food. There you go. I'm very sorry. So this is the entire extent of my city so far. Like I said, early days. We're just kind of building out and trying to get a handle on what things are going to go where. That one made me laugh literally excellent. So we've kind of got our main artery down here. Uh, we're using a six lane large road for it, which directly connects into the highway up here. Might eventually upgrade this so that it actually is a highway, but I'm not worried about that right now. Right now, this uh, sort of central corridor is home to the majority of our commercial interests. We've got quite a bit of residential demand that I haven't managed to fill yet. We were just working on that when you arrived. Quis quick question about V Rising. Oh, uh, also three minute warning. We're about to have an ad break in three minutes. I will run clips while that's happening so you won't miss anything. But uh, what's your question, Sketchy? Oh, okay, we have to break pattern, apparently. That's okay. Oh, that worked out very nicely. The graveyard was perfectly placed. So we can have that as our pattern break. Yeah, that works well enough. Okay. Let's make sure we've got water before I start sticking stuff in there. Bring that over here and up here and we'll drag that across too for the heck of it. How far did you get? Uh, I don't actually really know how to answer that because I've never finished the game so I don't know how far I got. I streamed it the one time. I haven't gotten back to it, but it was really fun. So I would be open to potentially streaming it again, though I seriously doubt I will have a lot of time in 2023 for it. But, you know, maybe next year or something. Oh my God, what the heck? Stay healthy, bot. I wonder if I can exclude stay healthy, bot from the chat display. <laughs> that is quite the spam. It was digital. You'd need a paper variation for it to be terrible. Wow. There you go. Ugh. Okay. Uh, ooh, it's been a bit since we placed in a commercial interest area here. So I think we're going to do that right by the cemetery. We're going to put a few little spots in here. I'll do this corner. I'll leave that one residential. But we'll do here and we'll do there. Actually, you know what? I'll just do that whole strip because we're not going to be building roads into the park. So that's... Yeah, that should be good. And then this... I'm going to leave that unzoned for the time being. So let's do that, and that, and that, and that. Uh, 
and we'll see how that fills out. And actually, I think we're now at a budgetary place where we can maybe have this extend all the way down. Did you? Oh, that's a really good call. No, I did not. But we have ads starting shortly. I will look back into education as soon as I get back. My breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes long. Ads will run. Clips will run. So you won't be missing anything but clips. I'll be back in just a few. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now, do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> this is making me so incredibly happy. But you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. <laughs> and you really do only have one eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it. Give it to me. You want it? <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my god. I have to leave him here. He's gonna get shot to death if I don't. These poor dinosaurs, they're being sniped at from all sides. There we go. What is that? Oh my god. Oh crap. Okay, I am back. 
No problem, Wiggles. It is a great game. Thank you, Anstara. Now, where were we? We were extending that road. We still have commercial demand, too, so I might as well fill in this down here. So, let's do that. And, I guess... Let's do that as well. That is going to need water. And we'll continue the road pattern as well. Actually, I might as well do that now. No real reason not to. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just zone it. Why not? Although, I think I'd like, uh, yeah, we'll do a plaza in there. Ah, uh, yes, education too. I'm starting to run a little low on funding. We might have to leave that a little bit. So let's just run on speed three for a bit until we've got maybe 30, 40K. It shouldn't take long, honestly. Oh, Gord got you. Yes, that was a memorable clip. That was just the other day. That was last stream. I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey and started that new playthrough. But I had to grab that clip. I had to. Need to, uh, need to use the sleep? Sounds good, Winters. Have a fantastic night. It was good to see you. Catch you again soon. Oh, crap. Literally. Can we do the eco? Yes, we can do the eco water outlets. What do we have here, though? That looks like a standard water outlet. Let's get rid of you. Why? Why for water? Oh, what? That, oh, <laughs> right. I forgot, I got rid of the power line. There we go, sorry city. We all always forget that bit, but we always enjoy it. Yes, that's true, Aranor. Welcome back, by the way. Yay, did it. Busy town. Now we have city planning policies, level four unique buildings, leisure and tourism unique buildings, sightseeing bus tours, trolley buses, oil industry specialization, tourism specialization, new policies, our decorative and sound blocking roads and highways, and piles more besides it looks like. Lots and lots and lots of options. We can start upgrading away from coal to using oil power plants. We can build bigger fire stations and hospitals and police headquarters. We have new options for bus stations and parks, it looks like. We can get the road maintenance depot. That's always good. We can get some of our helicopters. Mm. 
lovely. General Hospital. Very cool. Oh, actually, let's take a look ahead. What's after this one? That was Big Town. That'll get us to 7,500. That looks like, yeah, that's when we can start building our own custom university campuses. And we get residential wall-to-wall. -wall. Oh, wait. Wall-to-wall, -wall. does that mean... No, okay, so we get the high density at 7,500. All right. Okay. Now, oh, okay, we can definitely afford a high school now. The question is, where to put it? Because it's a kind of a big guy. Maybe we put that up here. Oh, that's, there's already a park there. We're going to clobber a few houses and we're going to put it right here. And I think we're going to upgrade this road as a direct result. Oh, actually, ooh. I intended that road to be double width. Okay, we're going to upgrade that right now. I'll take the hit now while I can afford it. Uh, we'll do this one. we go. Sorry about all your houses. This needs to move. Jim, how's it going? It's good to see you, sir. What's going on? Hope all is well with you. There we are. And now I still have plenty of cash. We're going to do some other parks. I'm going to put a little sports park right next to the school. And one of these guys, too, because why not? Now, that's great for high schooling. How's elementary? Pretty darn poor, by the looks of it. So we're going to pop one of these guys down here as well. Sewage treatment's only so-so. I guess I need another one already. So, Gord, if you had to choose, which game from this fall would you prefer to get a delay? Starfield. Uh because I want more time to play Baldur's Gate 3 before it drops, frankly.
Gonna go silent for a bit, but I'll hear you. Gonna get the kiddo? No problem, Wiggles. I'd personally prefer Starfield, as I'm still unsure about it. Plus, it feels like, of all of them, it getting delayed for polish would probably feel the least worrying. See, I don't understand why delayed for polish is a worry for people. I really don't. I find it reassuring on multiple levels. Oops, that one was good. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Well, crap. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. The short period between Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield is the worst. It's it's literally one week. And then it's even worse than that when you consider that Starfield, if you pre-order it, includes up to five days advanced playtime, which basically cuts the Baldur's Gate 3 period down to like a day or two at most. <laughs> the counter argument for that is it's Bethesda. By now I'm so used to their released games being bug catastrophes that if they actually delayed for polish, I'd be confused and alarmed. That's entirely fair and reasonable, Ansara. I get worried when they give a date after years of development and then go, oops, we need more time. See, that confuses me though, Aaron Lor. You know software development. You're a programmer. Why this confuses you is a source of mystery that will never confound me. Would you stop abandoning your blah, buildings? A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. Oh, also. Uh, let me check my power. Yeah, I can sneak a wire connection in here. Which means I no longer need these. Disaster response unit, emergency shelter. I don't suppose I've got lightning rod. Oh, wait a minute, lightning rods. Do I have the city planning policy that allows lightning rods? I don't think, no, I don't. I need 7,500 people to have lightning rods because that makes sense. I know that you don't give dates unless you're reasonably sure it's going to be ready. Yes, but that's the thing. You can be reasonably sure. You can be incredibly sure. And you can still run into the unexpected and have to push it. That's why it does not bother me. But it's more that I've seen features drop during the ops ne oops need more time bit way too often. Th that can happen too, though. The thing is, those dates are set by publishers, not developers. There's that as well. So it's going to be ready is extremely uncertain. That is also very true. Okay, let's finally get started on our actual park. This will just be a standard city park. We're going to do a main park gate. It's going to go right down here. Uh, we'll put it there. Congratulations! Holly City Park has reached level one. So we've unlocked the plaza, the park info booth, restrooms, the cafe. Let's also check in on our Big Bite restaurant. Oh, that's a commercial building. Never mind. Where's our hotel? We have a cabin, don't we? Rental cabin, that's it. Popularity rating 
The popularity rating is calculated based on how well the ho hotel's location matches the hotel's potential popularity in the categories sightseeing, shopping, business, and nature. So it's got five out of 75 in nature. So this cabin is not maybe the best located. That's okay, it's a learning experience. Also, I don't think we need these anymore. We've outgrown the need for those. A cabin not in the woods. It's kind of in the woods. There's woods over here. Let's maybe see if we can improve that a little bit. There's woods in sight. That counts, right? Yes, it does. Oh, there we go. 30 out of 75. Uh, okay, let's read the tooltip here. Nature, location, popularity, rating 30. Maximum possible rating for this hotel, 75. Nature hotels do best when built in places with a great view near shorelines or forests. Public transportation connections are a plus. High crime rate, noise pollution, and pollution have a negative effect on nature hotels. Okay. Sightseeing location popularity 9, so we actually gained a few points there. Maximum possible rating for this hotel, 25. Sightseeing hotels do best when built close to parks and unique buildings. Public transportation connections are a plus. High crime rate and pollution have a negative effect on sightseeing hotels. So do we have available unique buildings we could maybe put in this area? Treasure hunt? What the heck? The Creator's Library? A tribute to City Skyline's modding community. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. And I love that it's actually the City Skylines 2 logo that they've got there. That's really fun. The Plaza of Transference, same thing. This modern plaza ensures smooth transitions into the future of City Skylines 2. You would do that, wouldn't you? I would. I would. Countdown clock. The only clock you will ever need. How much is this? 37. Oh my god. 37,500. Well, we're making a fair amount of profit. We're going to put the countdown clock nearby. Speaking of transit, I think it's a little overkill at the moment to bother with something like a bus system, but it might be time to add taxis shortly. My industry is dying. What the heck? Let's have a look at our... Oh, my God. Okay, what's happening here? What did I screw up? That doesn't look right at all. Why are you waiting...
I don't like that. That's not a good solution. I think I'm going to have to extend my timed traffic lights out here. Lemon, lime, soda, and orange vodka is tasty. That sounds good. I've seen a documentary about them featured a bunch of now popular actors. Uh, emergency services? That could be. That could be. Okay, that seems to have cleared up pretty well. I think that was the worst of it. Looks like the storm is over. Got a few more heavier areas, but they don't look backed up so much as they're just a little high volume and a little on the slower side. Oh, that's not looking so great. Where's people headed here? Oh, no, that's okay. That's just high volume. That's all right. Oh. Uh. My new forest seems to be a little bit on fire. And unfortunately, we don't really have the res- oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> we don't really have the resources to make it not on fire. That requires helicopters. Yeah, I believe it is Aranor, but I actually don't care for it. I mean, sometimes I really like it, sometimes I really don't. It actually can cause problems with certain uh, elements of the game. Oh no, we lost a red rocket. No, it's just the fact... Th I, I don't mean like it's buggy and causes problems. I mean like the behavior itself can conflict with some requirements that require you to acquire like, you know, a thousand abandoned buildings in a city. That kind of thing. Ah, okay. We need more water. It fixed issues with Disaster DLC. Yeah, yeah. Not the kind of issues that I'm talking about. I'm talking about some of the weird requirements for certain unique buildings that you really don't want that mod active for. Oh, interesting, Aaron. There. Okay, I might have to look at that one then. That could be a good thing. Yeah, 
People seem to be piling up in this one lane a lot. How do we have that set up? Well, that's not too bad. Yeah, I think that's fine. As burnt and abandoned as two separate toggles. Yeah, that, that's pretty decent. I might actually already have that one installed, actually. I'm not sure which version I've got, but I don't think it's active. I seem to remember having turned the Auto Bulldoze mod off, whichever one it is, whether it's that one or the previous edition before stream today. Okay, I think we really need more people because our industry is hurting because of the lack, so let's maybe take a look at doing something with that. Okay. Crime rate still holding steady around 7%. Ew, fire coverage is not the best. I almost wonder if maybe we should look at getting the fire helicopter depot. It's a little on the pricey side, though. What's with the water? That doesn't look like an outage. It looks... Yeah, okay. That's just that. We can fix that. Okay, that's helped. We're not losing industry at quite such a an impressive clip. I guess I need to replant the forest.
Okay, what do we got here? No visitors. Entertainment till next level. All right. We'll build that up gradually over time. I don't want to focus too much on it right now. We've got it designated. That's the important part. Pulled over just to ask, wouldn't the helicopter also add to police and traffic help? No, it would not. Police have their own helicopter depot. You can build that separately. And uh, as for traffic, there is no traffic assistance via helicopter. Not in this game, at least. I mean, real life, you got your traffic copters and all that, but no, it, it has no impact on traffic. You can build a number of different helicopter depots in this game. You can do fire, you can do police, and you can do medical. But that's it. I do wonder if maybe Cities 2 will do something with that, though. Maybe we'll do a little bit with the city park here. Um. Put in a little cafe right next to it. Restrooms are very important. And we'll have an info booth right up here. Gonna get the child fed and get back to nagging? Yes, sounds good, Wiggles. I appreciate it. Why isn't the local government doing anything to stop the fires? Does anyone supervise... I didn't catch the rest of that. Supervise the fire safety regulations at all? No. You're on your own completely. That's not my jurisdiction. I'm the mayor, not the chief of the fire department. Oh no. Okay, what are we doing here? Um, oh, not that. We want... Oh, advanced coal plant. Uses coal to produce electricity, creates less pollution due to advanced carbon capture. What is it? Output, 56 megawatts versus 40. That's also probably quite a lot larger. It is. First oil plant going in. That should take care of our power woes.
Well, we've had six whole visitors. We need 500 to advance. It's not exactly what you would call profitable yet. But it's got a great view of all of these burned out trees. Which, oddly enough, seems to include the trees that I planted after the fire, but okay. Your points haven't been going up. That's weird. Thirty-one of seventy-five attractiveness. Oh, look at this. Twenty-five of twenty-five sightseeing popularity points. And it's actually our rental cabin is profitable. Now I do kind of want to put in one of those hostels. Where were the Where were the hotels? They were They're here. Budget hotel. Town hostel. That's 25k, so we're going to have to wait a little bit, but that's all right. The charred spire forest. I like it. That's what we're calling it. That'll regrow in time. You can't fault their honesty. We've got a Tim Hortons on the corner and they call it a drugstore. And they're honestly not wrong. <laughs> Caffeine is a drug, it's true. So are Timbits. <laughs> We're on the same wavelength, Anstara. Some of them are, yes, uh, Aaron Lar. That doesn't mean they're not really, really good. Not all of them are glazed. Drugs affect body chemistry directly. So does food. I kind of feel like I should bridge over here and maybe do some agriculture, but I don't know. We need to work on our residential a little more first.
Agricult. A little uncomfortable with the cult. But... We could see how that goes, I suppose. The Cult of Agri should be a video game. Uh, isn't that what that one game is already? Cult of the Lamb. Stardew Valley? How many times do you need to tell a three-year-old it's hot before they consider it maybe hot? Usually, um, well, I, I mean, don't you tell them as many times as necessary until they actually find out for themselves and then never touch it again? That seems to be the way it usually works. I have no experience with it myself, but I would guess that the trick is telling them no, 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 until they attempt to touch something that's hot, but not so hot that they're going to permanently disfigure themselves. Then you let them do it and find out the hard way. Trust you won't lie about something being hot and then experience of what hot is, yes. There we go. I like that. We have reached a meeting point. The food is warm enough to eat, but not hot enough to burn. Yay, one point for daddy. Shakes his dad bud belly. Nice wiggles. I'm not as crazy about this. That's inconvenient.
I don't even know if this qualifies as a storm. There doesn't seem to be any lightning or thunder or anything. I mean, thunderstorms can cause a heck of a lot of fires, but I think that was just incidental in this case. Well, for the rain to have any real effect, it has to be raining water. Cats and dogs aren't going to put it away, put it out. They'll just, uh, you know, kind of run away. Or, you know, that's assuming the best. The cats probably have a better chance of running away. I haven't done too many ride-alongs with vehicles in this city yet. What's our garbage situation looking like? Landfill is getting full. Garbage processing status is kind of garbage. Might need another recycled plant. A millionaire talking about musicians' payments from streaming platforms and brings in the writer strike to do with the streaming platforms. Specifically, that Snoop Dogg being Snoop, complaining about how new artists coming up get millions of streams but don't get any money from it, and he doesn't like that for him. Yep, yeah, that's pretty cool. to let that new building percolate through the system. Oh, I remember what I was going to build. I wanted taxis. the resurrection of the park area coming. Very slow, it looks like. Two or five guests. It's profitable, at least. Ooh. We've had an upgrade. Big Bite Restaurant. Very nice. Fifty seven hundred people. He's a famous multimillionaire. He could just ignore crap and act like Dave Chappelle. He doesn't, though. He gets out and fights for those following him to have a chance to get just as rich. Yeah. When do you consider the red side roads for commercial transportation city vehicles? What do you mean by red side roads? I don't think I'm familiar with them. Do we have any new territory available, I wonder? Yes, we do. I'm not sure what I want yet. Behind the freeway entrance? Um, I'm thinking about that one.
Snoop Dogg is like a surprisingly good dude, yes. I've always gotten that impression from him. Look at roads. There were some for dedicated, some for people to travel with dedicated lanes for certain traffic. Yeah, I don't use those very often. Bus lanes. Is that what you mean by red side? I don't have buses in the city at all yet, so bus lanes don't really make a whole lot of sense. Not yet, at least. Probably not the best time to have done that upgrade. Because we don't have a huge amount of demand for industry right now, but we'll see how it works out. Oh, one minute warning, actually. <laughs> This break has kind of snuck up on me. It looks like it's about time to do that. Looks like we can also consider doing our taxi. So I'm going to do that right now. Taxi depot. We're going to pop that in maybe down here. I'll do a taxi stand. I guess we can put this in down here. It won't be too much of an imposition. There we go. When the boom will smack for industry? Well, yeah, probably not going to smack until we get more commercial than residential. Which I think we'll have to work on after the break. I don't blame people like Gene Simmons who just want fame and money and are shitty people, but do it. But do love it when people like Snoop show up. There are a few streamers like that too. Yeah, yeah, there are. Now, though, it is time to take that break. So if you guys will bear with me, I'm going to be back in just a few minutes. I'm going to run some clips so that anybody who has to watch the ads, you're not going to miss anything. I'll be back in about three and a half to five. And actually, maybe make it closer to seven or eight minutes because I'm going to make some tea. So I'll be back shortly. Hmm. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Okay, this game already knows how to push my buttons. Archaeology in a Zelda game? Yes. These... Might these ruins be from the Zonai?
definitely like this increased venom power stuff. Oh, this is good. Oop. Yep. That's definitely true. <laughs> I that was completely an accident. Ten. Nine. Eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. That's just fireworks, right? No problem. It just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> How about a Rancor Burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. Nice. So that was the Delamain quest. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I should have gone back and looted. They're destroying everything! There they are! Yes, they're destroying everything. Okay, so yeah, something did screw up. There was a liquid rocket phase that was not actually supposed to get ejected there. Other than that, it seems to be a bit of a death trap for poor Jeb, because I just realized I replaced the parachute with this control unit, so he wouldn't have to be here. <laughs> uh. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Moon button? My grog-riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. <laughs> Getting there. Two thirds. Excuse me. What? <laughs> His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. <laughs> 
Saved by guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do. Nice. Oh, you are so lucky. And holy crap, that right goal. Oh no. Whoops. Gristle is still alive after all this. Oh man, he's got that whole walking through the explosion thing down. I forgot the grease is flammable. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? They open. Oh. Rip tech. This yours? Oh. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead. I mean, you are dead, but you know what I mean. Ah! Rude! Really? When you die, you leave behind a Neko which can be revived by other players. That's cool. Holy crap! Lady Devon! That's awesome! Lady Devon is another streamer. I don't know if you guys know her, but I know her. She's awesome. So apparently she's playing this. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out back. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! Okay, I am back. That is true, Wiggles. It doesn't keep very good track of my activity. Thank you, Aranar. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Jim. How are you doing, by the way, Jim? How are your streams going? By the way, folks, I'm pretty certain we shouted Jim out earlier, but just in case. Please make sure you do go give Jim a follow if you're not already following him. He's an awesome, very long-time friend of the channel who does a lot of really cool sci-fi game streaming and a lot of racing streaming lately now that you've uh, revamped your setup somewhat. That's always really cool to see. How's our land value looking? 
Okay, we've got some good high value land down here that we're wasting on water. I think maybe it's time we shifted this, did some higher value mixed residential and commercial interests up here, and uh, relocated these a little further upstream. And maybe I'll just preemptively add another one as well while we're at it. Because you know we're going to need it eventually. No worries, Wiggle. Jim makes many left turns, it's true. Now, before I let this loose and start, you know, the simulation again... Start extending the road network out. Hope those recover for you well. Streams have been chill lately, been having some ear troubles. Ooh, that's not fun. So games that rely on sound cues are on the back burner for now. Uh, that's unfortunate, Jim. I'm very sorry. Which games are you having trouble with there? Just out of curiosity. Can we do keys? We can do flood walls. So, oh, what? When did they add the city key? A city key with trees and space for pedestrians to walk. Keys are concrete walls built on shore to even out difficult differences, terrain differences, and allow for zoning near water. but it actually looks like it follows the land pretty well. Oh, I can't... Wait. Oh. Oh, hang on. I don't think I can do that on a city key. I think I could do that on a normal key. No, I don't like that at all. I'm going to make one stretch of regular key that I can probably put those things on. Yeah, there we go. So it was the trees that it didn't like. <clears throat> Does anyone like trees? Nope, nobody, not one person. We certainly don't know anyone that would care for trees. Uh, 
There we go. The very breath of my life, yes. Suppose that counts in algae too. Is that algebra? Because I could see that. So I'm going to get rid of those. Temporarily, perhaps. to remember my mods. I thought I had one to allow crafting of nicely uh, parallel roads. Network multi-tool. Oh, wait. Create parallel. That'll do it, but how do I make it closer? Um, oh. <laughs> nice, Jim. Oh, except I don't like that this is a bridge for some weird reason. All of them except for incorrectly wiggles.
Um. I forgot how picky you've got to be. Okay, well, at least it's a road again. It's not a bridge. That's a plus. awkward. Um, that's fine. We can do some zoning. Remember when Shakespeare asked interesting psychiatry research questions like, would a rose by any other name smell as sweet? Yes. <clears throat> okay, we have money again. Let's see if we can fix some of this stuff. Wait a minute. Did I... I did the wrong road type. Oh, shoot. six meters this time and why is it not that's not the correct road type See if I can upgrade it after. Why the heck not? So where's my anarchy tool? Hmm. 
There we go. Oh. Um. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay, what? That does not look like the right type of road, but I guess it must be. That's, no, that's what I want. Okay. So it's the same same general type, but the wrong specific appearance. Got it. Okay, Anarchy, you can go away now. There we go. Thank you. I, actually, I changed my mind. I need that back again. I wish I knew Canada well enough to know if Tom Cochran's doing well or not. His upcoming events are in Cranbrook and Maple Ridge, BC and Saskatoon. I don't know. I've heard of those places, so it's probably not doing too terrible. I think that'll do. Money is the problem. Got it. Let's wait till our funds increase a bit. If it was Toronto, Montreal, and Quebec City, I'd presume he was doing all right, as I know those in Edmonton, so they're big enough to be of international renown. Well, just because he's playing smaller venues doesn't necessarily mean he's not doing all right. <clears throat> it could very well mean that he's doing well enough to be able to afford to do them. Life is a highway in the early 90s. Yep, I know that song. Even I know that song.
we're gonna have to redesign this road here because I've brought it at too much of an angle to intercept here. We're gonna need to bring them across a bit, but that's okay. I can rework that. Now that song's stuck in your head, nice. Oh, I know what we can do. This road here is actually a continuation of this one, which is the same type. I can just have this continue on and become this road, and then we'll just upgrade that. damage that I've just done. So, let's see. I need to zone these. Uh, looks like it's actually auto-repaired most of it. That's pretty good. Continue my pattern though. So let's get off of upgrade. I need to obliterate those houses. And a couple here. And there. to this anymore. We should have power extending pretty close to it. So we can just link that right there. in around here. It actually looks like we have more demand for industry right now than we do for other stuff. 
So maybe we need to finally zone this little bit in over here. The most annoying part of this cast is that it's convex rather than concave in the palm, so it's hard to rest my hand while typing or using the mouse. Yikes. Yeah, that doesn't sound very fun. Okay, the commercials, oh, commercials demand is rising, so that's popping in pretty nicely. At least it's a con cast and not a com cast. Oh my god, Anstara. <clears throat> oh, people in this area really like their barbecue. Okay, how's the land values looking? Oh, this is looking pretty good around here. heck is all this? Tiered seawall? <clears throat> seawall type key with pedestrian paths on top and lower tier? What? Parisian style key with pedestrian path. I've never seen so much of this stuff. This is really cool. <clears throat> Can I not attach these to... Uh, oh, maybe it's because... There we go. Yeah, it's... Once again, it's because of the trees on the key. Oh, 
Oh, but that needs a road connection. Let's maybe put this out this way. And, um... Pause that. I'll bring this out here. And then I'll just add a little dirt road straight to it. My wife says I'm easily amused and I enjoy the kind of humor like the bad dad jokes. Do not look under redeems then. Thank you, Aranar. Okay, we've got some significant demand for commercial now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start backing this off the direct waterfront itself a little bit. So I'm going to do a similar sort of... Yeah, let's use this one instead because that works better. I'm going to parallel this from about here to... I guess to here will do. Uh, that's... There we go. And I'm actually going to make it... About there, ish. Well, that worked okay. What have you done? What have you done, Wiggles? That type of laugh usually makes me pretty... Oh, what? I'm gonna have to move you temporarily. That makes me nervous. Mocking the guy in the Muppet movie? I will take your word for it.
You're saving the one mil? That's actually been redeemed once in the history of the channel, by the way. The one million. Actually, you know what? Let's do commercial here and here, too. Imagine the chaos if someone unloaded all five dad jokes in a row, though, at the start of a long stream. I don't have to imagine that. Weirdly enough, somehow, that's been done. By someone. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need water, aren't I? I cannot imagine that. Who would have the courage and awesomeness to do that just for laughs? <laughs> if I had the points, me. Nice. I guess I should probably have some other road connections here, too. Hang on. Um, let's do... Oof. That is a bit of a slope, isn't it? That one works. That'll do. <laughs> Probably not, Wiggles. That was a long, long time ago at this point. I've gotten a whole lot better about saving my streams and putting them on YouTube. But uh, for a long time, I really kind of ignored YouTube, and I think that's one of the reasons why my stream has struggled to grow. I mean, there's quite a few reasons my stream has struggled to grow, but that's one of the big ones. <laughs> yes, everybody knows. Canadian streamers? Who, who even streams in Canada? into a playlist. I don't prefer to rely on Twitch for saving stuff, though. I've done that in the past and been burned by it. I think YouTube is more reliable, so I just stick to that. Backup of backups? Well, that's fair.
Oh, good. Are we out of capacity again? What happened? Yeah, we're running low. All right. I learned the other day that defragging is old school. Yes, that's largely because defragging is only valid on hard drives. And most computers these days are based around solid state drives, which you can actually damage pretty badly by defragging them. So not a standard practice at all. Hey, look at that. Our forest has returned. And it looks glorious. Oh, we can't upgrade the tree type in the thing. Okay. Thank the digital deities you have disk drive? Why is that a good thing, Wiggles? Disk drives have no practical benefits over solid state drives anymore, at least in my understanding. Maybe there's still something they've got going on that solid state drives can't match, but I can't imagine what that would be. Certainly not for any household application. And it looks like we're starting to get some traffic congestion issues once again. Less likely to fail, failures aren't as widespread, easier to recover from. I call BS on all of that. Ex well, maybe, but it's hard to imagine. to eight lanes. See, also having a decent backup there. No, there is not a single road in this entire city that would benefit from a bus lane. I have no buses, so bus lanes have no purpose. This could probably upgrade from a lane, or a benefit from a lane upgrade. This is still based around yields. I think this is another one I need to add into my traffic light system. Come 
Like, where are you? There we go. Holly City Park has reached level two. Following buildings have been unlocked. Park Chessboard, Park Pier, and Park Pier 2. Well, the piers aren't really going to help, but the chessboard might be okay. What's your traffic flow? Probably a little congested. I haven't looked at it in a little while. I'm just taking a quick peek at that now. So, we're getting a lot of volume around here, but it looks like it's flowing pretty well for the most part. The biggest issue seems to be back here, and that's where I've been trying to work on stuff. That might be a little bit of a problem here, too, actually. I think this road might need upgrading. Let's take a look at maybe making that a four-laner. Just as far as there. Make it a little easier for these guys to turn. <laughs> what the heck? How is it ad time already? 10 second warning, guys. I'm gonna take a three and a half to five minute break. I'm gonna run some clips ads will play. Don't worry if you have to get the ads. I apologize, but it helps the channel a lot and you won't be missing anything. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a really good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few. Feeder unlocked. Whoa, that was a shot and a half. What? What happened there? Oh my god, no! No! Get out of here! See? They're out to get me, I swear. Look at him playing all innocent like I didn't notice. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. What? No! 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 Ah, that's so rude. <laughs> oh my God, Serana! <laughs> and we're lost in a trackless desert. You have just become a vertical meal for the local welcoming committee. It's amazing how little I care about the stalkers these days. What the hell was that? You're down in the grass, huh? Nope. Totally not. Or science. This is bad. Okay, getting caught is bad. It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> Get 
you for a little while. Wow, that looks so creepy. Oh my god, it's Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> okay, I am back. So we're up to, what are we, 7,244. We've got to be extremely close. I think we can push that population number a little bit. You literally got one clip about a chicken on a log. That is one of the best games I've ever played, though. The Monkey Island games. I haven't played all of them. I tried to play the fourth one, but I couldn't get it to work. But uh, that one, The Curse of Monkey Island, is one of the funniest games I've ever played. I played through The Secret of Monkey Island, Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, The Curse of Monkey Island, and then after that, because I couldn't get game number four to work, which is Escape from Monkey Island, I believe, uh, I just kind of skipped ahead to the unexpected release of Return to Monkey Island, which uh, just came out last year, 2002. And it was also one of the best games I've ever played. It was really, really good. So I highly recommend if you're into old school adventure games, or think you might be into old school adventure games but have never tried, I would uh, definitely take a peek at those. That's intentional, Wiggles. I don't want to, you know, be off for 10 minutes if I can avoid it. Sometimes if I've got to make tea or something like that, I will do it, but uh, I like to try to keep it so that you know, keep the stream flowing. The clips are mostly so that people don't have to be bothered by the ads as much. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love that people enjoy the ads too, or the clips as well, but uh, the point is mostly to cover the ads. I have been into games since TRS-80 was a fun piece. Yeah, same. And when I've seen all his clips, it's pretty funny. It's hilarious. The Monkey Island series is amazing. The thing that boggles my mind is that I've been playing games longer than the Monkey Island series has existed, but I only played them for the first time when those clips were taken. I never played those games back in the day. I was always more of a Sierra gamer. So that was like, there was also a clip in there of Space Quest. Those are the ones that I was playing. I did play a few of the, uh, the Lucasfilm games, like, uh, or LucasArts games, like your Monkey Islands and your Maniac Mansions and all of those, but, uh, I never actually did the Monkey Island series. And I regret that now, because they're so good. They're just so good. I have a lot of the LucasArts games from back then that I need to catch up on. Everything from, you know, I've got to see if I can find a way to play that fourth Monkey Island game and get to the Telltale series. Much more recent, but still uh, supposed to be pretty good. And then there's, you know, the Lucasfilm ones like... Uh, what have they got? They've got Full Throttle. They've got The Dig. There's that... I can never remember the name of it, but it's based around the... Um, the Hispanic Day of the Dead thing. Central American, Mexican kind of thing. I'm not 
remembering the name offhand, but that one also looks really, really good. They had a lot of really fun games that I really want to try. Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders comes to mind. Lots and lots of stuff that I need to catch up on. Plus, I'm doing playthroughs of a lot of the older Sierra stuff. I never did finish Quest for Glory 2, on stream at least. You may have played the one with the guy who goes to an area and you choose your path. Help ants get dead, wand from an old wizard. Oh, are you talking about Zork? Think you were a prince trying to find your stolen castle? Oh, wait a minute. Help ants get a dead wand from an... I think you're confused. I think you're talking about the King's Quest series, Wiggles. All of that sounds familiar. You helped ants in King's Quest V. Uh, and there was an old wizard in King's Quest 3 and I believe in King's Quest 6. But you're kind of mashing up elements from a bunch of different games in the series. But those are great ones. I haven't streamed any of the King's Quest games except for the 2015 remake. Or, you know, kind of soft reboot of the franchise. But um, the classic ones are really good too. Okay, so what are we doing? We have lots and lots of residential demand. I think we might do something similar here to what I was planning over there. I'm going to carry on down this way. So let's go to our key. Water structures. Shoreline, what are you talking about? Oh, the angle's a little awkward. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm really interested in that, Jim. I'm really interested in that. The, um... Oh, what do they call it? I'm so bad with names while I'm streaming. I'm not the best with names even when I'm not streaming, but while I'm streaming, it's the worst. Um, was it the Legacy of Monkey Island? Or the Legend of Monkey Island? Something like that. It, it looks real good. The Sea of Thieves content is going to be pretty spectacular. Yeah, that, that looks like a great update, though. I can't wait for that. Actually, that looks a little weird to me. spaced stairs I think works. I think that'll be fine. Now I think what we're going to do is we're going to take our terrain brushes here and I'm going to see if I can soften some of this terrain stuff going on. Some of that looks a little bit harsh. Now 
Okay. It was 60. Looks roughly correct. So I think what we'll do now is we're going to do a little bit of pathing. Some of that doesn't look like it's worked particularly well. What? <laughs> We're going to have to fudge this a little bit. Definitely a little on the wonky side. That looks a lot better. Okay. No problem, Wiggles. No problem. Got a natural break right about here. Oh, come on. It doesn't look the most attractive, but we'll make that work. Guess that's gonna have to do. Got one there, we got one there, we got one there. this kind of a little pedestrian shopping complex. Not an actual pedestrian shopping complex, because that's a thing we can do now. But there's just lots of walking paths around. Oh. Despite the fact that it's literally on the water, they're probably going to want water connections. So let's do that too while we're at it. What's wrong with our garbage collection service? Ooh, it is looking a little bit unsightly. Landfill usage, 92%. 
Maybe I want to make that road a little longer and pack some more stuff in there. One thing is for sure, the city is not broke. Fire, not good. Crime, ooh, crime rate's climbing. Okay. I wonder if maybe I upgrade to a police headquarters and move the little station. Let's put you over... There. So much for being rich. Oh my god, so much for being rich indeed. I, yeah, that, that, that cost. But it's probably going to be worth it. Okay, so where did I dump the other little station? I think that's right here. That's on Shirley Street, so we're going to call this... Shrilly police station, apparently. Let's not call it that. Breakfast for dinner it may be. What crime these people and the prison can be next to the landfill where the lowlifes can be slave labored? No. No, we're not about that life here. Something's popular down here. I like that. How are we doing? Just take a look at something here. Oh. Probably want the bigger road. Okay, that's not so bad. It's perfectly, actually. Very good. Okay, so we've got a commercial bit over there.
Don't have a lot of industrial demand, but that'll fill in eventually. This commercial will probably go in fairly quickly. We really need more residential. Kind of debating bridging across over to here. Because that's a lot of land I haven't touched at all yet. Oh, I like this. I would love to preserve that. We can do some agriculture over here. We can have some more residential in here somewhere. Let's maybe take a look at the bridging. want to still continue the grid we've got going, so let's see. Eighteen. That works. But we don't want it to be that size. We want it to be the larger size. the look of your bridges. Not a drawbridge or a toll bridge, just a... Br or... Um, Four-lane truss... Looks like I do have options. I have to lose my bike lanes, unfortunately. Mad, how's it going? I'm doing very well today. I'm very glad I played this. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. I'm not sure I need this to be quite as long as it is.
First day back from vacation. How did it go? Tell me all about it. Okay, that's got some good height. It looks like it doesn't interfere with the key. It does kind of look like it maybe clobbers construction underneath. Sadly, in this game, you can't build under bridges. But you can in cities, too. So there's that. Now, I think I would like to try... Until the work, yes, Wiggles. I don't want the vacation to end, but my account needs more so I can go on another one. Vicious circle. Yeah. But what can you do, right? Okay. Let's see here. We're going to extend the residential down into this area here. Upper level residential where the water's tapped and lower end riverside residential where the sewage is vented. Oh, I, I don't want people living there though. That's for dirty industry. Mine does, yes. Yes, it does. Which maybe marks it as somewhat unusual, but what can I say? That's how I like to run my place. Where's my six laner? Is that a six laner? It is. We need to upgrade a bit. 
Still six lane? Yes. I don't want to clobber the eight lane, but the six lane can be all nice and fancy. keep forgetting I don't have unlimited funds. Yeah, I don't blame you, Wiggles. cash again. Just go down there and then put that intersection in there. Man, we really have garbage issues in the city, don't we? How's the education looking? Probably, yeah, it's uh, hurting a little bit. I, ooh, even high school's getting a bit tight. I'll have to address that in a moment. I don't have the cash right now. I could take a look at a loan, I suppose. We'll put a small school in right here. And I think we're going to need one up here too. Also, still have anarchy on. Yep, I definitely have anarchy on. Uh, let me turn that off. Forget the water. It's a dry heat. There we go. Big town. Campus areas, taxation policies, sports arenas, level 5 unique buildings, wall-to-wall -wall buildings, commercial wall-to-wall -wall buildings, leisure specialization, lots of new penalty, or um, not penalties, policies. Ah, uh, yes. High density zoning, new roads, not so many this time, just a few. New buildings, including the incineration plant, which it sounds like we could probably use. Fishing Island, the University, the large toll booth, metro stations, chirper balloon tours, a prison, saunas, nice police helicopter depot, lots of new disaster options.
warehouses. I actually really enjoy warehouse stuff. That stuff is really fun. We might set some of that stuff up. Waste disposal unit. Elevated bypass metro station. Eco-friendly incineration plant. Nice. Lots of fun stuff in this update here. So that gets us there. What's next? Small city, 10,000. Very cool. Okay. Twitch crash? On your end, Wiggles? Am I still on? You guys uh, still seeing me? On your phone. Got it. Okay. Not that that's a good thing. I'm sorry that your Twitch crashed. I was more concerned that the stream had gone down or something. Okay, actually, I think I can now repay that. Yours is easier to get back up and running again, generally speaking. Hopefully. When it's my end, that tends to really put a damper on everything. Okay, now, what does an incineration plant cost? Too much, apparently. Also, I don't appear to have the eco-friendly option, which is a little odd. We're also getting to the point now where we're getting to a population size where I would start feeling comfortable about thinking about adding in some buses. Okay. This garbage situation is concerning me. I'm going to build another recycling center. It's going to hold us back in other areas, but it's for the greater good. don't have a huge amount of demand right now, but it's probably time to start thinking about where we're going to focus our demand with regards to upgrading our density. We do have a small amount of residential demand, so I'm thinking that strip right there gets the first upgrade. I'm not going to do any commercial yet because that's just a waste. Would a landfill on the far side of town help? It could potentially help. I don't know how much of an impact it would really have. I haven't seen any evidence that the trucks are having a hard time reaching the areas they need to reach. This area is getting pretty high volume. Oh, that is actually getting a little bit slow. Okay, I'll tell you what. Grab that. Basura, what is that? I have never heard the term. Okay. 
Okay, so that's it. That's all we can grab, but now we've got this entire stretch. Ah, yes, I am Canadian. I don't really do a whole lot of Spanish. If it doesn't involve tacos, enchiladas, or chili con carne, I probably don't speak it. There you are, I think. Okay, now I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. But I'm thinking I might give industry another option for getting into the city keep this a little bit less congested. How's that emptying? 67, it's emptying very slow. Twenty-three thousand. I don't think we're going to be able to afford a new round of, or not round of, our interchange there. Let's take a look at the pre-built ones, though. I really need more of a clover leaf. Yeah, it's a little too much. Once I hit 40k, I'll do it. That should cover the incidental upgrade fees. I feel like a dedicated watcher. I'm like, where's the popcorn? That's exactly what I love to hear. And 40. Okay. Let's take a look up this way. I always forget how massive these things are. So we're gonna have to come up here. Obliterate that. That's a good point. We do have sound barriers. Now for this, this is going to be, I think, dedicated pretty significantly, specifically for Industri industrial use. Um, so,
Not quite, but that'll get us where we need at least. Okay, so now I want... Oh, that's not going to work. We need to move you over. Sorry. Oh, crap. Okay, I might have to do this differently. It's not going to stay like that forever, don't worry. But, uh, that should work for the time being. That should also take a lot of pressure off this. Especially if I go and just real, real small like go in and, nope, come on. Right there. Right there. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Man, as soon as I delete anything, it just gets rid of the whole thing. Okay, that's actually probably fine. Ban heavy traffic on an area. Make sure there are optional routes available because businesses in the city need to send and receive deliveries. No heavy transport vehicles allowed does not affect highways. So we're going to just put a heavy traffic ban right there. So heavy traffic has to use this. Actually, that's actually not true the way it's set up. They can come down and use this. They would probably use that in preference, but let's just ensure it. There we go. Oh, except it doesn't affect highways. Damn it, right. <sighs> there. Now they have no choice. Okay, it seems to be easing up a bit. Oh, man. Oh, this is not eased up. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I guess, for now. How's our volume looking? Hmm. 
Not getting a huge amount of traffic on this road, which I guess suppose doesn't really surprise me. People are using it though. What's our next target? 10,000 and man, we're still growing pretty good. Has our upgrade gone? Oh, look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. What the heck? Oh, I love this. Okay, I think we definitely are going to have to start looking at public transit now that we've got a little, just a tiny little bit of uh, high density going in. So, what's that? That's our Shirley police station. Surely it's fine there. Rent is 2400 a month, includes all the great things they could need, yes. Okay. Let's go get a bus depot of some description. We can do a bus depot. We can do a biofuel bus depot. We can't do a bus station because we don't have quite enough money, although I'm very close to being able to do that. Bus station is a hub for bus traffic and it acts as a designated place where a bus or coach starts or ends its scheduled route. Compact bus station. Place bus stops at the bus station to let passengers easily transfer on their journey through the city. Yeah, it looks really fantastic. What is this? Intercity bus station. Bus station uses coaches for people to travel to and from the city. Bus station requires highway connection. Intercity bus station doesn't require intercity bus lines or stops, but allows the placement of regular bus stops on the bays. I usually like to go with the biofuel bus station. So we're going to pop this in right there. And we're going to put a plaza directly across from it. I wish I had more plazas. We'll put a paradox plaza. Yeah, I love this. This looks so nice. start with a residential bus line. We're going to create a line right here in sort of the top of the commercial zone here. We're going to pop over to here. And then over to here. And then over to about there there then we're going to skip all this 
We're gonna come down here. And about there. What the what? Oh, shoot. What happened there? That doesn't look correct. You're gonna clip that one? Nice. Uh, then we'll go here. And what the heck, we'll go here. to do the same but on the other side. skipped some regions here. Oh, because there's nothing on this side of the road except for the key. Okay, never mind. That's fine. So that's good for that area. Next, we're going to do another line over here. We're just gonna come right down here and go there. Then it's gonna go there. Then it's gonna go there. Then it's gonna go there. And then it's gonna be done. And that one I might just leave the one bus. I don't think I'll do the loop. Or the uh, the counter loop, rather. We'll see how that goes. So let's take a look at our lines, because I don't like the fact that... Um... Oh, that's weird. Yeah, we're going to make this one red. And we're going to make that one darker blue. So we can tell them apart at a glance. Where does this road go? Oh my god. I am so sorry, folks. We have ads in progress, and I completely spaced out on it. I don't understand how an hour has flown by already. That does not make sense to me. It's going to take a while for any of these to really pick up a lot of ridership.
Sorry about that, Wiggles. I missed that one completely. I noticed that the ads were going on 10 seconds from the end of the ads going on. Okay, where are the buses? Here's one. We'll watch this one. Back. I appreciate that, Wiggles. starting to lose people. I'm impressed at the number of people using the bus already. get off there. Oh, quite a few more people. This is this is working pretty nicely. Make the travels good and they travel more. I'm just hoping they travel less by car specifically. I'm a little surprised by how many are not going all the way down to this sort of farthest extent of the line. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Suddenly it's very popular. That's quite the crowd. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away with using the biofuel buses, actually. <laughs> I might need regular gasoline buses that are a little higher capacity. Hard to say right now, though. The bus is just sort of sorting itself out. I have to get a better impression of what's going on once things are a little more settled in. Organized route and timing, all on a trial and error run? Exactly. Yep, that's about it, exactly. I'm also not really giving much coverage to the interior of the city. I might be able to solve that with a shorter, more direct sort of express route just kind of three stops at the edge of the city, the middle of the city, and the other edge of the city. We'll have to see. Yeah, okay. I think we've followed it around long enough for the time being. Oh my god, why? Why? Twenty-seven percent full. Fine. Oh, that still only gets us to barely adequate. Okay. No more excuses. I want that garbage gone. Okay, so how's our route looking? Uh, oh. Man. It's almost like people have a problem with the trash or something. Okay, it looks like we're starting to pick up the slack there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, are people getting sick too? I haven't really looked at health in a while, have I? <laughs> oh boy. Our, um, our health care could maybe use a little improvement. Possibly dying. Oh my god. They're really popping up all over, aren't they? How much does a proper hospital cost? 65? Or high capacity for 95? Or I could put in a sauna for 25. I think I'd actually like to go with the high capacity. So we're going to hold off for a little bit until we get 95k. Actually, more like 105, 110. And then we'll pop one in. Tonberry, how's it going? It's good to see you. It's been a bit. How are you? I hope all is well. Oh my god. All oh, the abandoned buildings. Last day before going back to work for a week. Read a book, went shopping, swam, ate food. That's about all today. That sounds like a pretty great day, though, honestly. Oh, what's with this noise complaint? Citizens are sick. Apartment rents are rising as the demand is high. Mayor is starting negotiations. That's a filthy lie. I am not doing a, a, anything whatsoever to improve apartment availability or rent rates. That's not my job. I'm not a real estate guy. We're getting there though. 82k. 83k. K 
Okay, I think the great garbage crush is improved. Citizens are sick. We'll soon be able to put in a really big hospital. One thing I really hope with Cities 2 is I, I want to see more supernatural type disasters. I have really, really wanted for the longest time to have a city builder like uh, Sim City or a City Skylines where you can have a spontaneous zombie uprising from your cemeteries. I think that would be fantastic. I actually heard from one of the developers of SimCity 2013 that they had wanted to include that in the game, but they weren't able to. So I was a little disappointed when City Skylines skewed very specifically and very focusedly on more realistic disasters. Like Godzilla? Yes. I think Godzilla was actually in uh, SimCity, the original. SimCity 2000 had the alien ship that would come down and abduct people. Oh, 127k. I think we're good for the hospital now. Now, where's our current medical facility? We're all the way up here. You are going to relocate down into this little swanky area of the map. There you go. And we're going to put the nice big hospital somewhere up in here. Higher capacity medical helicopter depot. Damn. Sports Hall and Gymnasium. Oh, I've scrolled it over, that's why. High Capacity Hospital. Oh, I guess it's not going up here. Okay. Uh. Jeez. Where, oh my god, this is huge! Where can this even go? We're gonna pop that in there, I guess. That is enormous. Jeez. It can, <laughs> can hold 800 patients. And it's got 40 potential ambulances it can use. That's going to eat into my budget, too. That's a 4000 a week upkeep, but I think it'll be worth it. That's so many ambulances. 40? All 40 are in use. Oh boy. Oh boy. I wouldn't worry about it, just uh, make a clip, and the clip, you might notice down in the lower left of the screen, I've got a persistent, continuous, always there timestamp. And clipping is what the 
primary reason I have that there. It's not so much for your convenience so you can see what time it is while I'm streaming. It really helps me out a lot when I'm doing clips. Like your hospital last week you worked? Oh boy. Oh, jeez. So many patients. Look at this. It's a good thing I built the high-capacity hospital. The city looks a lot nicer, though. Okay, let's have a look see at our citywide stats on healthcare availability. Sky high now. Average health already improved by 30% just by building that. And relocating the other hospital probably had something to do with it too. So people are much healthier. That's pretty good. Now we're starting to get even more stuff with the garbage again. How is that? Garbage processing status is okay. Oh, the landfill. That looks like it's empty. So do I want to get rid of that or should I... Let's... Yeah. We'll ditch that. We'll rely on recycle and incineration. Call to check the census the night before, get to work, and you're not clocked in yet, and they are calling in extras from separate wings. Oh, man. Two hundred seventy-eight patients, two seventy-nine, still thirteen ambulances in use. Oof. CD, how's it going? It's good to see you. What's going on? Let me quickly get you a shout out here. There you go. Guys, if you are not following Crystal Dragon 22, please make sure you go and correct this grievous oversight. He's a good friend of the channel, has been for a long time. I hope you're doing well, CD. It's really good to have you here. We're just gradually growing our city. Most recently, we built a massive, massive hospital. High-capacity hospital. Uh, what street is this one on? Oliver Street. Okay. Okay, and I moved my medical center, the smaller one. That's right there, the clinic. We call that the Dale Street Clinic. Looking at getting food? No problem, CD. Always a pleasure. Now, now, that's all taken care of. Let's have a look at this ridership. So it looks like the bright green gets a fair amount of ridership. This one gets a little bit less. This one doesn't get so much at all. I do think this inner area of the city could use a little love on the transit department, though. So we're going to set up another bus line to take care of that. Because right now we're really only hitting the periphery. So we're going to create a new line here. And that's going to pop down there. And then it's going to go here. Then it's going to go... Here. Here. 
here. There. There. There and there. Next, we do the other side. the same purple. Things have changed in Diablo 4 for me. A new concept for a necromancer build has come up in my head, so I've been slowly working on it. Oh, that's cool, CD. Hope it works out well for you. Before we get too far into this, I want to be able to follow these guys. Oh man, they've already got a bunch out, so let's let's follow this. The first one on the new line. Unique set of gloves that change things for me. Wait till you see what happens. Curious. to wait a while, aren't they? We lost our bus! What the heck? It despawned! Okay, so this one is proving initially pretty popular, too. Probably doesn't help that buses are despawning.
Okay, getting a lot of people transferring around. That's pretty good. I like to see that. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Good. Oh, I never upgraded that road? That's weird. Or, actually, we're in the park area now, aren't we? This area is... That is pretty backed up. I think I might have to upgrade a few more roads in this area. The Necro has two skills called Corpse Tendrils and Corpse Explosion. Tendrils grabs enemies, pulling them in toward it. Normally, Corpse Explosion just creates an explosion in place, except the gloves I have make it from an explosive skeleton that runs at enemies. Very nice, CD. Very, very nice. What polluted wells? There are no polluted wells. We do have a lot of pretty iffy traffic situations, though. All's well now, wow, Weagles. I will have you know I have excellent separation of waste and source water. Thank you. Follow this one, I think.
Well, so far it's all looking pretty nice. Oh, believe me. Believe me, CD. You don't have to play very many times before you learn that that's a necessity. The game makes it pretty clear pretty quickly. Turns out it do, does, they do things like build up sickness until you unlock the medical stuff and then your city is dying due to having built your water tower too close to your industry. Yes, that is a thing that can happen. Not something I'm going to worry about right now, though, because one of the things you did miss, Erinor, is I saved up for and built a high-capacity hospital. And it is gargantuan. It was actually hard to place it. I don't know if it's half full, but it, it's huge. Nah, it's not half full. It's a little over a quarter full. It was using all of its available ambulances for a good while, though. Okay, so that's medical. How's that looking now? 82% average health. We were, at the time I started saving to build this hospital, we were at about 55% average health. So it was getting pretty dire. How's the park doing? We're gonna need some more entertainment. Visitors are going up pretty well, though. We need to bump up our ticket price. We'll go to 15. Stone Yard? Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. How's our transport doing? Ridership's not bad. The red line is still kind of anemic there. It's really not doing a whole lot. Where are the schools? I want to make sure I've got bus stops relatively near the schools. Yeah, 
okay, we've got stops reasonably close by. stops near that one. Where's the high school? Yeah, okay, so we've got stops right there. That's good. And... stop here and here and then move this here and here so that's closer to the school too and since we've shifted this up I'm gonna put in more stops there too Pineapple Express? What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Oh, hang on. We have a down power line. It's probably been down forever. It's a good thing they have their own independent power there. Now... Where is... Oh, yeah, the hospital is very well served for transit, so we don't need to worry about that. That's good. Um... What else can we do on the education front? I don't want to build a university till we can build a proper campus. We should have a public library. Park area is well served with transit, so hopefully that makes the cabin happy. Where is the cabin? That's the park info booth. That's the cabin. 29 of 75, 25 of 25. It is still making a profit. You know what? I went and I built this bridge all the way to this part of the city, and then I didn't do anything with it. I think at this point we'll have to take a look at that next time. Oh, 
that's going to be a problem. It might be just as well I haven't done anything here because I think I'm going to have to redo a chunk of this bridge because I need to key up the banks of the river. And we'll see about making it look nice and fancy and appealing at that point. That's fun, Aaron Lar. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't seem all that entirely likely at this point, does it? That is really sad. Oh, I, I don't need a break, Wiggles. I need to find a raid target. It's coming up on 6.30, yeah. So we are going to... We're going to save this, and then uh, we will find someone to go visit. Because we're coming up on an ad break in about eight minutes as well. And we need to be raided out before that happens. So let me see who we can go visit. And uh, we'll see what we can get up to on Friday when I return. So let's see. We've got... Aoshi-san is on. He's playing something called Battlebit Remastered, which I'm not familiar with. The OG Mana is on. He's playing Peglin. The Game Cleric is on. I'm not sure. She's doing a subathon and she's playing something called Spectator. Never heard of that one. I know for the last few days of her subathon, she's been doing, um, what's it called? Cult of the Lamb. So Spectator is something new and different. Uh, let's see. Michelle Boyd is on. She's just chatting at the moment. Oh, it looks like, okay, it looks like Michelle is doing, uh, Steam is doing their summer event where they showcase a lot of demos for indie games. It looks like Michelle is playing a bunch of those, which is pretty cool. Tracy Cola is playing Diablo 4. Um, and that looks like that's about it. There's a lot of people on right now, but a relatively smaller number that I actually know. Thank you, Med. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day as well. Held out with you for damn near all of your cast. That is awesome, Wiggles. I appreciate it. It was great having you here. Needing to rest and give my poor hand a break so whoever is good with me. All right, that's fair. Uh, that'll be coming up shortly, Wiggles, probably in the next 20, 25 minutes or so. Dinner will be. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to actually have, but it'll be good. It's been a very long time since we had the opportunity to raid aoshi -san. I think we should go with that. And plus, that'll let me satisfy my curiosity about what this Battle Bit remastered game is all about. So let me load up his channel. We're going to go raid Aoshi-san. He's been a friend of this channel for a very long time. A box of cake mix, just dry, no spoon poured into his mouth. You can read me like a book, Aaron. Lar. So we're going to go raid Aoshi-san. Let me get you the raid call we use here at the Library of Lore. 
we use shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the hard emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, maybe emotes from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Aoshi-san's channel. Thank you guys so much for making this a really fun city stream. Uh, I kind of missed the game, and I'm really looking forward to the new second one coming up later in the year. And, uh, yeah, it was really good to get back into this, play around just a little bit with the hotel feature. We're going to have to build some other different types of hotels and see what happens. But, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun today, so thank you for that, and thank you for being a part of it. Now, let's go see how Ayoshi's doing, see what this game is all about, and I will be back on Friday. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now.